I'm going to tell you a story about an idea that's using garage sales to mobilize hundreds of thousands of people to declutter, to connect with their neighbors, to make a bit of pocket money, and most importantly, to have a whole lot of fun. And my story starts in Bondi Beach in May of 2010. And now Bondi is my home in a truly beautiful place, except that is for all the beds and the barbecues and the lounges that people dump in the streets. And so we thought we'd try and do something about it. And our idea was a, really quite a simple one, to get as many garage sales going in the one suburb on one day as possible. The garage sale trail. An idea to say to people, don't dump it, sell it. So we set up a really simple website where we asked people to register some information about their sale and what was on offer. And it was just one of those things that kind of took on a life of its own. Before we knew it, there was 126 sales. And on the day, there was this real sense of community spirit and everyone from the older generation to the young hipster cool kids to the middle-aged families and everyone in between sort of participating in this really grassroots community activity. But it wasn't until afterwards where we got all these stories from people that were involved saying that, you know, I decluttered all this stuff, I made all this money. I think the average amount of money made for that first event was about six, seven hundred dollars, so not a bad day's earnings. But it was the stories that people shared saying, I've lived in the same street for years and years, but never got to know my neighbours, but we became acquainted through the day that really resonated most. And we sort of thought that if that was the only outcome, that would have made it all worthwhile. But then we started to wonder, what would happen if we could make, bring this to life on a bigger scale? What if we could get garage sales to happen all over Australia on the one day? We figured we could use some social tools, a bit of technology, and a bit of old school media to try and drive some involvement. And the results exceeded our wildest expectations. In 2010, there was 126 sales in Bondi. A year later, there were 1,600 sales around the country. And just two weeks ago, there was over 7,700 garage sales happening on the one day all over Australia. And, and you know, we like to think that that's, that's kind of 7,700 individual events happening around the country, but it was so much more than that. There was over 150,000 people participating in communities around the country. 620,000 odd items listed for sale that were either going to be kept from sitting in cupboards or sent to landfill. The average participant made about $400 pocket money per sale, and they said they planned to spend about 80% of that locally. About 48% of participants said they were raising money for a cause of their choice. But best of all, the average participant made about six new neighborly connections. And again, all these stories that have surfaced in the last couple of weeks of people saying, you know, I've met my neighbors for the first time. One woman who wrote to us and said, now I can stop to say good day to my neighbor when I see her walking down the street in my old set of jeans that I sold her. <laughs> people have sort of made their own interpretations of what the day can be. There was a young boy for sale for a million bucks up in uh, Ballina. So many stories of artists and creatives that have held pop-up galleries in their garages, of bands performing trying to sell their merch, a certain antique bridge that we tried to sell in Sydney. <laughs> One of my favourite stories was a young eight-year-old girl who had set up her primary school desk and chairs on a street in Surrey Hills and had made these beautiful handmade happy birthday cards. And I'd sort of said to her, how much are your cards? We're always short of birthday cards in our household. I'll take the lot. And she said, I made 20, they're 50 cents each, and I've got three left. And she was so stoked. You could tell it was just her first taste of commerce, and she sold out. <laughs> The way people promoted their sales was really unique and interesting too. One community made a garage sale cake and had a cake cutting ceremony with their local mayor and MP. In another area, they had a, a garage discotheque with, uh, with roller girls with hot pants that were parading all day. And in another area, a couple thought they'd dress their dog up and parade around the neighborhood. <laughs> and so what's next? Well, the garage sale trail has kind of become my full-time thing. And as an idea that's about trying to create positive social and environmental change, I never would have thought that um, it would take me to places like Number 10 Downing Street and St. James's Palace, Clarence House, to talk about garage sales, but it has. And so there you have it, an idea that's using, about using garage sales to help make the world a better place. Thank you.